was coming up? Did Stephen speak to you about where he was going to go in the next series? Or? I don't think Stephen knew what was like this. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it was a wonderful cliffhanger. And I think, I think that's, the, that's the beauty of you know, writing for television. You could just kind of go, hmm, mm. what will I do now? And, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and he went away and wrote these six episodes, which are like the writing really kind of went to a new level. It's really fantastic in the second series. Um, so no, we, it's the answer to your question. No, we didn't. We didn't know what was going to happen. How embarrassing I did. Oh, did you? <laughs> he told you. I knew everything, particularly that what was it? No, no, no. <laughs> no we, and, yeah. and then it's also quite interesting when you read it back, saying, um, realizing how then he's also responded to to series one, and you know wh where he wants to take the characters and how he wants to change them as a re as a reaction to what you brought to them. I think okay. everyone was quite happy. <laughs> you know, everyone's like, oh yeah, we get to shoot Joe. <laughs> <laughs> to shoot Joe, <laughs> my Finn, Finn was loving it. My brother, he was like, ah, you know. No, so yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it was fun. It was a fun day, and it, it, it because you know we're getting to play with squibs, and we've got loads of guns out, and mm -hmm. we've got uh, uh, you know everyone gets to kind of um, do what we <laughs> the reason why we signed up to this bloody show. When I read the script, it, it really up it upset me, you know, because I've. Me and Joe are, are friends, you know, off camera, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, yeah. watching it last week as well. I mean, I ain't going I, I to lie. I sort of, you know, I had a little tear in my eye. I did. Because it's like there's a bond between all three of us, obviously. But John and Arthur are very much, you know, we're very much the foot soldiers. Um, and we would do a lot of Tommy's dirty work together. So, you know, there's Joe and I, and then there's John and Arthur, and we experienced a lot together you know in the in the five years and so when I read it in the script I was very I was very upset. It actually brought back a lot of memories of working on the show for the last few years. Started it in 2012 mm -hmm. and made some great friends and it kind of just made me think of the, that whole that whole sort of arc. Hardy's obviously a new cast member for series two. What do you think he brought to the show that was different? Fantastic facial hair. Fantastic <laughs> facial I didn't work with him, so. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, Tom is amazing, mm -hmm. uh, and it's an extraordinary creation he's he's come up with, this, this character. Yeah. He's such a fantastic actor for work opposite. And, you know, he has a relationship with Steve Knight as well, mm -hmm. so it felt very much like part of the family, him coming in. But, um, yeah, I think people will be in for a treat. Because Everybody knows how great Tom is as an actor, you know, that goes without saying. And... Uh, you know, he's worked with Steve Knight before on Locke, yeah. so those guys have a relationship. Um, and I've worked with them in the past. And um, yeah, it's brilliant when you get actors like Tom and like Noah Taylor, and like Charlotte Riley going, yeah, we, we want to be in the show. Because it, you know, it means that they like the show and the show has obviously reached their level. And um, so yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a very um, worthwhile adversary for Tommy in the second series. Can you... Can you detach it enough that when you watch yourself, you're still really emotionally moved by what you see when you watch it back? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I don't know any actor that likes watching his or herself. It's always quite a, a, a sort of distressing experience. But what's good about this is that there's lots of stuff that, you know, we're not in. So it's great to watch Polly's storyline or Arthur's storyline that you're not necessarily part of, so you can sort of unclench for, for that period of... Breathe. <laughs> Take the paper bag away from your face <laughs> before you reconnect. Lockdown. When I'm on lockdown, I like to take it easy. I like to look after myself. That's right. I like to decorate. As you can see, I'm in the middle of decorating my own place. Yeah, not easy. But I'm keeping myself busy and that's the most important thing. Just want to say to everyone out there, stay safe, look after yourself, do the right thing. Don't go nowhere. Meet your step out there, you could give this fucking thing. I promised myself I wouldn't swear. I promised myself I wouldn't fucking swear. Nah. Anyway. Peaky Blinders sending you love. Arthur Shelby sending you all his love.
Ah, and there's me talk there and all. Fast asleep. Lazy bastard. Get up! There you go. He's up. Story, isn't it, to be a yeah. part of? Oh, yeah, it's incredible. Um, I was just saying that I uh, watched the first series back to back in six hours and wait, waited for it so I could download it all and just watch it all in one go. I just remember watching it and got, it was like chocolate for my brain. I didn't want it to end. I was just like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. And obviously just really, really wanted to be a part of it. So when I found out they were making a second series, I was like, get in. How do I get myself a part in that? I'm having a wonderful time. It's so great to see everyone here. I'm so grateful for all of these the support and these fans that have come through and probably travelled quite far to come and see us today. So it's, it's nice to actually see them face to face, be able to meet them, hear their voices and get chatting. So no, I'm very, very happy. They like to dress up when they come to these premieres, don't they? I mean, don't we all? I feel like I've made an effort. Uh, you guys could have tried a little bit harder. But... <laughs> I mean that's that's what it is that's what we've kind of we've created a show I say we I, and it's a lot more people than just I but we've created a show where people can get involved and can dress up and can enjoy it for the same reasons we enjoy it and I think that that's a really special thing in TV at the moment is for people to be able to tap, tap, tap. Hello. <laughs> hello it's for people to be able to throw themselves into the world and be a part of it. I was just saying how nice it is to see everyone dressed up and oh it's so fun and also like the, the vibe like I was just being told here that this is where they they queued up to a sign for the war in 1914. And given how much yes. the show is about, yes. you know, the PTSD and stuff, it's quite that's quite. I, it really is quite emotional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> like genuinely. Yeah. Um, but also, yeah, it's a beautiful evening and it's like nice. I thought vibe. it was going to rain tonight. I thought, it was gonna, I thought it was supposed you, to rain. You got a lick finger. But then I heard it never rains in Birmingham. But I don't know. Yeah, if that's it's never rain here. But we haven't actually done read throughs for no. Peaky Blinds for the last. I don't remember doing it since the very. Also, first I, I mean, series. I've been, I, yeah, I've been unavailable for a couple of them. I know that. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've had other prior engagements, but uh, doing your nails. Yeah, I've been rushing my hair and things. So favorite playing Arthur Shelby, who's a character who is incredibly divisive who does things that appall everybody and then you have this wonderful vulnerability that makes us all forgive you for your actions and I wondered how much of Arthur where's the line between Paul Anderson and Arthur Shelby <laughs> sometimes I don't know but you've really made that character your own and it's a it's a, it's quite an it's quite a creation um, and I'd love you to talk to everybody a little bit about that. This fucking place is under no management. <laughs> Listen, if Sam Neill can walk, I'll fucking walk. <laughs> but I don't know where the line is drawn between me and um, Arthur. You'll probably hear me flirt from Paul Anderson to uh, Arthur fucking Shelby. I, I, I really do love playing the character and I love the city of Birmingham. Is, um, honestly, small leaf, fucking rifles. I just wish my brother Tommy was here or Killian was here, but. Or, or Joe. John Boy. But uh, the line, yeah, right now, I don't know who I am. But, Fuck it. Don't ask me no intellectual questions and fucking ask me to explain the different fucking elements of Peaky Blinders. All I know is Stephen Knight has created something that's changed my life and, um, and I'm uh, certainly grateful to him and I'm indebted to him for many reasons, for the show, for, 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 for you know, the character and for, um, for this place. So, uh, I'm just gonna have another fucking walk up this way, you know what I mean? Fucking say hello to you, Bloody loves it, don't it? Look at it. Fucking right. Right, darling. Right, yeah, right. I only want to speak to the ladies. Fuck, no, wait. There's Linda. Hold on. No one tell Linda what I'm doing up here. Well, that's it. So, so thank you all. Thanks for coming.